Hi guys, this is Mike, and today we're going to be looking at part two of our short series on the Bible Sense Lexicon. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So in part one of this short series on the Bible Sense Lexicon, we looked at ways that you can access the Bible Sense Lexicon and a quick practical way to actually leverage the information and use it uh, using the reverse interlinear uh, ribbon at the bottom of your English Bible. But today I want to show a bit more about this tool. Um, for instance, we want to talk about how you can navigate the window of the tool itself when you open it up in its own floating panel, as well as how you can run searches using the Bible Sense Lexicon's data. So in order to get started, let's go ahead and hide our home page so we can get back to where we left off. And we were in John 3.16, looking in particular at the Greek lemma cosmos, or as it's translated in most places in your English Bible, the word world. So as we noted, the word world, or the Greek word cosmos, actually has multiple senses or meanings based upon the context in which it's used. We can actually quickly launch the Bible Sense Lexicon right out of our biblical text by simply right-clicking on the word that we're interested in. And then within the context menu, we can select the Sense option and then launch the Bible Sense Lexicon. I'm going to have my Bible Sense Lexicon take up the full uh, extent of the screen, so I'm going to go ahead and maximize it so we can see a lot of it. And notice that we are instantly turned to the Sense World Populace, which is drawn from the Greek lemma Cosmos. So this is the uh, sense as it's found in John 3.16. So this is different from the word cosmos in 1 John 2.15, which was the world system, which was those people who are in opposition to God. So that's the difference between the two usages of the word cosmos. So the way that we can understand this particular screen is like this. In the top left-hand corner, we have a navigation box or a find box where you can actually type in any sense in English uh, in order to find that sense in the lexicon. So if we were to remove world populace and we just type the word world, we can see in the drop-down menu all the different senses that contain the word world within them. From here, we can put our mouse cursor over one of those senses and get a quick tooltip to see a definition of it. Notice world system, the people con constituting the world whose values, beliefs, and morals are in distinction and rebellion to God's. So if we want to launch that, we can click it, and that will open up the entry for world system within the Bible Sense Lexicon. Now right below that, we have our uh, definition for that particular sense, as well as a spark graph that shows us how many times this sense appears within the Bible. We can also run a search on this sense, and we're going to do that here in just a second. We can see the lemmas, both the Greek and Hebrew lemmas throughout the Bible that use this sense, as well as the verses where that sense appears. So here's a pretty exhaustive report of all the places where the Greek lemma cosmos means world system. We can see the relationships of this sense compared to other senses that are more general in nature or more specific. And then we can also have a C also where we can look at other guides as well as Launida's uh, Greek lexicon on semantic domains if you want to look at another type of lexicon like this one. To the right of this, and notice that this uh, sense lexicon screen is split up into two sections. The right hand section is the visual representation of the sense lexicon data. Notice we have the entry for world system down at the bottom right. And this actually branches out of a more general sense known as people. So the more general sense people branches into all these other more specific senses, one of those being world system. People branches out of a more a general group called group. Now if you want, these, this section of visualization is tied to the relationship section on the left hand side. If we want to expand this out to a more general, we can actually click on group, which is the more general category. And this will change the Bible Sense Lexicon to show this, and then those things that are more general generalized from that. The beginning, or the ground zero of the Bible Sense Lexicon, is known as entity. Uh, so this is actually the largest or most general term within the Bible Sense Lexicon. If we want to go back to our original term, we can click the back arrow up here in the top right hand corner until we get back to our entry for world system. Notice also you know that something has additional data within it over here in the relationship section if it has a plus icon next to it. Over here in the visualization you know there's more to it if the circle is filled in. 
Notice world system does not have a filled in circle, therefore there's nothing more specific to branch out from that, but world populace does. So if we click that, it, you can see the additional things that branch out of that, the inhabited world as well as populace people. And those will have different uh, lemmas attached to them uh, as well as different usages and verses. So that's really a rundown on how to leverage this particular window within the Bible Sense Lexicon panel. Now one last thing that I want to mention before we move on is up here in the navigation box, if we're not interested in looking for a particular English sense, but instead we want to search for a Greek or Hebrew lemma to see what senses are available for it, what we can do is, instead of typing in English, let's say we want to search for all of the senses attached to the Greek lemma cosmos, we type G colon, which stands for Greek in our search or navigation boxes, and then cosmos in English, and that will transliterate it so that we can actually find all of the senses attached to the Greek lemma cosmos. Once again, you'll notice here we have the entry for world system because cosmos is one of those senses. So now, if we want to look for all of the instances of this particular sense, we can simply click search for sense world system. So go ahead and click that. And that will launch a new search within the Bible for this particular sense. Let me go ahead and set this to all passages instead of just Luke. And you can see all of the instances of the sense for world system. Now one of the things that you're going to notice is that Logos is automatically putting in the proper search syntax for us in order to search for senses. So notice that we've got side carrots on either side of this syntax. We have the word sense with a capital S, a space, and then the name of the sense following that. So this is actually going to show us all of the different lemmas that are contained within this. Now we know from the Bible Sense Lexicon tool that there's only one lemma using this particular sense, and that's the Greek lemma cosmos. Now one thing to keep in, of note is this. There are two different types of search syntax that we can use when searching for a sense. One just uses a space in between the two uh, entries of sense and world system. However, if we go back to our Bible Sense lexicon, let's take a look at this really quickly. Let's say instead we wanted to run a search on the uh, entry for world populace. So let's go ahead and go back up to our navigation box. Let's type the word world and find the entry for world populace and then turn to that page. And let's run a search for world populace. So this is going to look very, very similar to our previous search. Now, there's another way that we can do this. If we put an equal sign in between these two and run that search, notice what happens to our search results. They actually go down. Now what's the difference between these two types of searches with no equal sign and with an equal sign? If we go back to our visualization of the Bible Sense Lexicon, this will actually serve to explain this quite uh, significantly. Now when we don't put an equal sign in between sense and world populace, what Logos is searching for is all of the senses or all the instances of this sense, as well as all of the senses that branch to the right of this sense. So this includes inhabited world, populous people, and then populous social as well. So all of these senses are included. If we include an equal sign in between them, it searches for this sense only in world populace. It doesn't also search for inhabited world, populous people, and populous social. So that's the difference between those two types of searches, which is why the equal sign limited the number of results down to just world populace as opposed to all of its child terms as well. So keep in mind when you're searching for senses that that's going on. Now one other thing that we can do when leveraging the sense database, and this is probably the way that I do most of my searches to begin with, is actually let's run a lemma search on the Greek word cosmos. And so we'll actually search um, a morph search for all of the instances of Cosmos of the Eng Lexham English Bible. And then what we can do is le leverage the analysis window in our search results. So go ahead and click analysis. And one of the columns within the analysis window is one called sense. So if we scroll to the right here, we can find the sense column. And we can actually organize by this column. Notice right above it says option plus click a column header and drag here to group by it. Well, if I hold down the option key and click and drag up, if you're using a Windows machine, all you do is just click and drag up. And then we can right click within one of the column with one of the row headers and choose summary view. And now we can actually see all of the senses attached to this particular Greek lemma. So in essence, this is a full report 
of all of the senses that the Greek lemma cosmos can take on. So that's one way to do that. Another way that we can access this same information, if we right click on the word world again, select lemma, and then select Bible word study, go down to the senses section in the Bible word study as soon as this loads, and here we can also see here are all of the senses of the Greek lemma cosmos. Notice we've got world system is the number one use of the of this lemma, but then following that is world creation, and we can see all of the instances of these words by expanding one of the sections, and there are all of the verses where that particular sense is contained. So those are some really powerful ways that you can actually search the Greek New Testament, and this also works for the Hebrew Old Testament as well to leverage the Bible sense lexicon to find when words mean something in particular within the context in which they're found. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see other content from this channel as it's released, make sure that you hit subscribe button found here. As always, enjoy mining the depths of the scriptures when using Logos. Until next time.